Hello everyone, uh, this is Science Learner Book for Grade 3, Cambridge. Lesson uh, 3.2, Unit 3, Changing Shadows. What we have learned in this uh, lesson, investigate how shadows can change, explore how shadows are formed or make uh, when light is blocked by an uh, object or a uh, vacuum object, make a prediction and see it if it is uh, right record result in a table then interpret the these results so let's start you will learn in this lesson why are these shadows are so longer or so shorter start. looking at shadows you can see different shadows here do you ever see shadows in your classroom if there is a bright light source, you may be able to see shadows made by object. So do you ever see the shadows move or change size or shape? A shadow can look like the object making the shadow. Obviously, boys, uh, when you're in the classroom, so if uh, the light source, if you close the light source, if it is dark, you cannot see anything here. It's because of light source. It's because of light source or maybe sunlight, which uh, coming from the window inside the classroom. You can see all our faces around us, different objects, opaque or transparent objects. So if it's transparent object, so the light pass through like window. So window, it's a transparent object. So the light come from outside the sunlight to inside. But if the light source is opaque, you opaque. Object like your pen, your table, your body. If you're standing in front of the light source, so behind you, you, there is a shadow. Or if you're blocking the sunlight, you're standing in front of the window, you can see the shadow in front of you. Or any other object, like table, like a different object in the classroom, if you're blocking the sunlight. So it's the, you can create the shadow. So a shadow can look like the object making the shadow. You can see the car shadow. You can see this. Uh, this, this is the shape of a thing like a bird. No. Okay, this is a body. Uh, he's uh, driving a or riding a bicycle and aeroplane shadow. So how we can create these kind of shadows? So sometimes the shadow of an object look very different to the object let's get longer shorter okay identify these things from the shadow a car where is the car this one so we can write here number three this is the car or you can write a car here as you want a plane before here it's the plane after this uh our chris cyclist this one a cyclist riding a cycle by cycle this number one a fish oh it's a fish i think it's a bird okay it's a fish so you can write your number So she, this is a this one the shadow of a cyclist. It's a fish. It's a car and an aeroplane. So activity one shadow shapes you will need for making the shapes a flash card, a flashlight, a small toy, any small toy. Your classroom light turn on or off or down a table tip. So it's better if it's dark and then you're making a shadow, you can use a torch inside a dark room. It's better if you're doing in home. So at night time, there is no sunlight, obviously. So you can uh, stop, uh, close the, the light, tube light in your home. And then you can use a torch and make a toy in front of you. And then you can uh, put the torch light on the toy. And now you can see if you're moving uh, the toy, it's forward or upward downward so you can you can see different shadow or if it, it's near to the source of light or it's away from the source of light 
the shadow get longer, shorter, and also the change the shape. If for the light coming on the head, you can see there is a spot. If it has straight like uh, this one, so you can see the straight. Same like this, uh, same like the, uh, the toy. You can see the same like this, the shadow of the toy. So uh, Sophia is investigating shadow. She moves uh, the toy and observes as its shadow changes. So hold your flashlight uh, pointing down as the toy. Draw the toy and its shadow. You can see here. So you can see here the toy and the shadow. And uh, what about the other? So let's move uh, to the next page, number 73. Now move the toy, observe how the shadow changes. You can see vertically and horizontally when it's a, let me move back. You can see when the, uh, the, the toy, it uh, straight, the, the same uh, shadows come down. But when you you are moving it vertically, horizontally down, and vertically straight, so there is a spot, okay, under the toy. So now move the toy and observe the shadow changes. What did? Why did the shadow changes and shape? Obviously, because it's creating just the shadow down, so it's just the object which is blocking the light. It's not taking or capturing the picture of the of the same object just showing the shadow so which portion block the light as uh, it's a uh, down as it is so the head blocking the light so the down portion that only that area it's shown down it's a spot and if in it's a horizontal way so you can see down the same shape of the toy so how many different uh, shadow shapes uh, could you make uh, a why would the light turn off for the for this conversation this according to do, uh, according to you when you are doing investigation or this uh, experiment, so you can use obviously activity to uh, making animal shapes. Obviously, uh, on the YouTube, if you write about uh, uh, um, this is uh, with making shape with the with the help of uh, fingers, you can find different uh, shadow shapes. Okay, on the YouTube, so with the help of your finger, you can make different shapes. You will need a bright light source, a screen, obviously, for better result, for better shadow. You need uh, a proper screen, a white screen, uh, and a dark, darkened room. Okay, uh, the shadow will clear when it's very dark, and then you open the light, and then you can see the shadow very clearly. Okay, uh, try making these shadows, uh, shadow animals with your hand, with your finger. Notice how the shadow shapes change when you move your hands. How can you make a shadow grow and then go smaller? Yeah, obviously when you, you are, your hand coming to, near to the light source, the shadow gets bigger. And when you are away from the light source, the shadow gets smaller. You can see different snail and... Uh, uh, and a duck and uh, a bird so you can make different shape with the help of your hand or hand think like a scientist how can shadows grow you will need a flashlight a torch a mobile light card a wooden stick to ruler, uh, to rulers and a tab a table tape paper card scissor sticky tape okay so what you need to do you are going to investigate how the shadows or shadow of an object changes as you move the object closer or far away from the light source you can see here i told you before when you your object uh, near to the light source like this one so the the shadow gets bigger but away from light source, the shadow gets smaller. So use uh, the, the car to make a star.
that is a two centimeter across. You, it's not uh, uh, necessary you're making the same experiment. You can do other experiment if you don't have that like this. You can your hand, bring your hand near to the light source and away from the light source and, and, uh, and observe what will happen. So use a card to make a start that is a two centimeter across. Look at the picture to see how to measure the star. Stick the star on uh, onto the end of a wooden stick. Hold a flashlight 30 centimeter from a table top pointing down onto the paper. Now hold the star in the light at a height of two centimeter from the table top. Draw around the shadow on the paper, measure the width of the shadow. Actually, you want to find the, uh, the bigger, uh, it get bigger or smaller. Find the length of the star. Okay, now you can see the table. You can make the table. Predict uh, what will happen to the width of the shadow as you move the star toward the light source. Describe the pattern in your result. Make a conclusion from the result. So let uh, you can see here the height of the object star above table, two centimeter, four centimeter, six centimeter. Okay, uh, so like this uh, size of the shadow uh, caused by the star, which is uh, two centimeter across. Predict. Uh, uh, prediction what is in your mind and what is the actual width of a shadow width of shadow two centimeter and obviously two it's a four what uh, you can measure when you're doing this experiment and what about six centimeter it get bigger or smaller height of the object star above uh, above from table okay and when as it is you're moving uh, to the, toward the light source obviously it's four centimeter and also six centimeter as an object move toward the light <clears throat> as an excuse me as an object uh, moves uh, toward a light source its shadow gets bigger it's big, uh, larger or bigger as you can see so it can bigger Okay, what you have learned in this lesson, I can investigate how shadows can change. Obviously, you want to you want to make it bigger, you want to make it smaller, you want to make different shapes. You can make it with the help of with the help of light and uh, an opaque object. I can make your hands and uh, it's an opaque object or opaque object, so you can make different shapes. I can make a prediction and see if it is right. I can record the result in the table. I can describe the simple pattern in the result. Okay, so in this lesson, what you learn, you learn you can make bigger and smaller and different shapes with the help of a vacuum object. And the next lesson in the next video. Take care. Bye bye.